Christmas Erin and we are on Insect Week 2 and today we are going to be scientists and investigate something called what? Ice! We're gonna, who's ever heard of ice before? I have. Ice is made up of, what is ice made up of Avery? Water, water. water. And this is one of my most favorite science experiments that, that, that we do in preschool. And we are going to try something out today that hopefully you guys have all the materials at home that you can use. So first, I have my bowls. And we're going to see, what do you think melts ice? What do you think will melt ice? Hmm, let's think. Avery, you have an idea? What might melt ice? If um, you raise a bowl of high into the sun, it might melt. Oh, so what is the sun giving off? Heat, you're right. So what other materials do I have on my table that might melt ice? Hmm. Oh, what is this right here? What is that, friend? Salt, right. So we're going to try to melt our ice with some salt. And I also have in this cup right here something that you guys love. If you love to eat, that's sweet, and it's in candy, and what's the main ingredient? Sugar. Sugar. It's sugar. So we're going to try to melt it with some salt. We're going to try to see if we can melt ice with some sugar. And we're going to see if we can melt ice with just, what, water? And we're going to leave a bowl that has just ice. I just took an ice cube out of my tray and you can and you can do this at home. I just put one ice cube in each bowl. Then I'm gonna take my cup of sugar and put it on there and see what happens. Alright, and then I'm gonna take my cup of salt and I'm gonna put it on this one down here. So we have ice with salt. We're gonna watch and see what happens. And then I'm gonna put one of my cups. This is ice and water. Let's see how fast that melts. And then I'm going to leave this bowl right here as just ice. Okay, so we're going to see what happens with those when you do those at home. And maybe you, you don't have sugar or salt. You can try any ingredient that you want to. You can try baking soda. You can try flour. You could try any ingredient that you have in your pantry at your house to see what might melt. Now, the next thing that we're going to do with our ice experiment that I made in the, re in the freezer where it's really cold is I put water into a, what is this? A balloon and I froze it. And then I took off the balloon wrapper and Avery, can you hold up one of those? balls of ice and we're going to use these balls of ice to show you um, that it's another way to have fun and play and investigate what we can do with ice. Alright, so now I'm going to do up close and show you. Oops. Friends that, or some things that we're going to use, friends, to investigate our ice is... Avery, let's hold up the tools. Ready? All right, put your ice back into the bucket. All right, so what do we have today, Avery? We have a work hammer. A hammer, and only use this if your mom and dad let you. Sometimes it's not safe to use hammers, so that's your, that's gonna be your mom and dad's choice. All right, what else do we have? We have a magnifying glass. A magnifying glass, yep. Whoa, I hear a motorcycle over there. Whoa. Okay. Two. An eyedropper. Eye yep. Dropper. And then what do you have in your cups? We have different kinds of like paint. Got red yep. paint. We have some liquid watercolor. And I'm going to tell you at the end of this science experiment, if you don't have liquid watercolor at your house, some things you could use. Or actually, I'm going to let Cooper use some watercolor paint. Okay. All right. So, Avery, you're going to have... I'm going to give you the cup of salt, I'm going to give you the cup of sugar, and you're just going to, and I actually melt, I actually put in my ice balls some different bugs in there, I don't know if you can see them, but there's some butterfly gems, yes, whatever yes. you could shove into those balloons, 
you can fit in there and then you can play. Let's unfreeze the butterfly. All right, Cooper, he doesn't really like to touch cold things. So I'm gonna let him use a paintbrush. And he, here, I'm gonna pick you up, Cooper, ready? All right, and you can just use the paint to paint the ice. And we're gonna, all right, Cooper, show us how you dipped up. Dip, dip, there you go. All right, Avery, do you wanna start working on your ice? Yep. Okay, fresh. All right, so we're gonna investigate and see how we use some of our ice materials. Yeah. Yeah. Avery, what did you sprinkle on top of your ice? The blue paint and I just sprinkled some of this stuff. Some orange paint. And you put on some of our materials. You used some salt and some some sugar. Avery, what did you think? <laughs> what do you think? I just discovered Super, can you put something. On, put on green. Wow, I just discovered green. something. Green. Good job. I just pour salt on this. Watch this. I just poured some salt on this and it yeah. just disappeared. Oh. <gasps> What's happening, Avery? Is the salt melting? Oh, yeah. oh, it's losing its color. That's what I'm seeing. Oh. Oh. Yeah, see, the wonderful thing about this experiment is you guys. Yes. All right, we're back. I made it. All right, so Avery's continuing to experiment using some different colors. All right, so we are still continuing to investigate and we are being curious learners. And we, we're going to let Avery or Cooper try to, you want to try to do this? this order okay but I also want to show you how our how our ice in the bowls are going I'm not sure if you can really tell but there's our ice cube in the salt and it's like melted about halfway but look friends our ice in the water oh look how small that is and then just ice that hasn't melted at all very much and then our ice with the sugar, oh, that one hasn't melted very much at all either. So which one has melted the most? I think our ice in the water is the smallest one. And we could probably even try to measure what our like did we use hot water? Did we use cold water? What was the temperature of our water? And see if we could get different results. And see what you guys come up with at home. And then you can kind of tell Avery's. Is any of your big ice balls melting, Avery? Not that much. Not that much yet? Yeah, but this one is my favorite one. Yeah. Kind of doing art and science in one. Because this has cracks in it. Yeah. Like the two. Hey, All right, so I'm gonna, at the end of this post, I'm gonna um, give you guys some uh, some tips and some questions that you can I ask your kids while you're, while you're doing this experiment together. And I promise you that if you do this, your kids will love it and they will spend a lot of time doing it. Have a great day.